So I'm going to show you what I do when I bring in Word files. And I know we had a question yesterday about copying and pasting from Word. I tend to not do copy and paste from Word ever. I bring it in, unless my Word file is so long and I need one paragraph. It's going to be a lot quicker for me to reformat that one paragraph, even if it doesn't bring in anything, even if it had hyperlinks in it, which was our question yesterday, and, and to format that manually. But for the most part, I'm going to place text from Word or wherever else. I just like to pick on Word, I'm sorry. Um, but that's where most of my files come from are Word, and most of them are not styled. Even if I've set up styles, you can actually set up styles for people to use. I could create all the styles I wanted to in InDesign, save it out as an RTF rich text format file, and they can open that in Word, and all those styles will be available to them in Word. They probably won't use them, but they'll be available for them in Word. And when they come back in, it should work beautifully, but we'll see if that doesn't happen. But when I place text, I place it just like I do any other text. I do Command or Control D to place, and I'm going to grab this Word file and click Show Import Options, because it's going to want to do what we did last time was preserve the styles. But here's what I'm going to actually do. I'm going to remove those styles. I'm going to remove all the styles and formatting from any text and tables in that Word document. Even though they style them, because they probably didn't do it consistently, you know, maybe, except for Steve. Steve always does it, and we know his work well. But this is not from Steve. And so we know that we want to pull out any of that styling. But the other thing I definitely want to do is preserve my local overrides. And the reason for that is that if they manually italicized something, I want that to come into InDesign, and we're going to, we're going to automatically pull that out and assign a style to it. But the cool thing is it's there. So I know that if they went ahead and manually bolded things and italicized things and put that all together in their Word document, it's going to come in like that. All right? So I'm going to say remove the styles but keep the local overrides.